heading down to the runoff. Well, I'm heading down to the runoff. I'm meeting Suzanne down there. We're uh, gonna get the carbs in and give them a, a pour on. And we're gonna bring a, a couple home. I'm not sure, there may be maybe more than a couple. But they're just, there's a few that are struggling and either it's uh, worms or a bit of eczema. So uh, we're gonna bring them home and just run them at home for a while. Give them a bit of special treatment. Um, it could be eczema because we've got, I've got four cows dried off that have got facial eczema. So it's the first time I've um, really had any eczema. Pretty big off logging operation going on here. Yeah, so it's the first time I've really had any eczema. Uh, at our last job, we didn't really get it. Um, and quite often that's how it is. Some farms don't get it, and some do. So, uh, yeah. There's a couple more in the herd that have just gone off their milk, so we'll probably end up drying off another couple. But at the moment, I've just got four dried off, and uh, I'm going to get these calves and just take them home, look after them. So we'll go and get on with that. Come on girls, come on. Yeah, being so well behaved. <laughs> She's happy. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that good? No, hey, scratch my head again. I'll scratch my head, oh, my neck, and under. Oh! We'll give them all a pour on and then we'll um, get a few out that are a bit light. The 42 here, she's just coming up. We had her at home. I think I took her home once already. 42. Yeah, last year as a uh, like last, last what? Year, yeah. in the in her lifespan. Yeah. She's been home once. There's a couple other ones that I think the one with the no tail. A couple other ones. Up we go. Yeah, she's she's down in there, 42, the little one. She's not even moving. Come on. Well, she's pretty. Yeah, she she was struggling though. She was. I don't know. She's not. Yeah, she is smaller than that. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Just walk straight up into there.
Come on, round you go. Come on, in you go. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I missed that first one because I was pushing it. All the rest look fine. There's probably just one now that I see, and uh, it's a black and white one there, but it's not real when I said black and white one. Come on, you can go. There you go. There you go. Come on. <laughs> There you go. Um, I can't see her now, so she's obviously not that bad if I can't see her. So we just ended up with the two that uh, we're going to take back. This one here, number 11, with no tail. She's not really that bad, but uh, so good company for the other one now. Beautiful day here. Blue sky, perfect. Come on. Oi. Come on, get out of there. Hey. Come on, girls. Number two. Where are you? Number trouble. Come on. There you go. Cows back in their paddock. Pardon me. Yeah. So that one there might have been one that we were looking at, you pointed out, 43, there's another one, but otherwise they're fine. <coughs> it's really just that one, even the short, one with a short tail was actually alright. I actually think it's a phase they go through. Yeah, it's just... Laggy. So it's uh, the little one's definitely noticed to be weaker, the other one is um, quite strong. So I've just given them a worm drench and uh, yeah, I'm going to go and put them in a, a paddock and I'll just shift them around as they need to be shifted. On uh, Friday, which was the 19th of March, we got our uh, another three hectares of Shogun drilled, which is this paddock, and there's another one over by the barn. And we also got uh, the uh, permanent pasture put into the turnips, so it was um, we put base in there. Again, I'm really happy with base. It's uh, what I've been using for a couple of years now. So if you look back in uh, some old videos, you'll see um, we're talking about new grass and base. It just seems to hang on through the summer and it's growing really well now. Everything else is a bit slower, but it's still really growing. So, but not everything else is really slow. It's just, it's ahead of everything else.
so here are the uh, four cows that got dried off because they got eczema. That's the worst one right there. Um, the other two, three, money got on their teats. So I really need to get them into a shady paddock uh, just so they can get out of the sun because they're not liking the sun at the moment. So what we do for uh, extra treatment is we just uh, put in the water, we have a dosatron, put uh, zinc in the water. So that's the only thing we do. We don't give them anything else. Um, we don't have any, you know, like we're not mixing any feed, so we're not going to put them in that window. We don't have an in-shed feed system, so it's not in that. So, yeah, what does everyone else do um, for eczema? Let me know in the comments. There's the turnip paddock, it's all drilled, like I said before. Just need a bit of moisture. Uh, I don't know, it'll be over a week ago, or even more since we had some rain. Still green, still got grass, the cows are milking well. They're nearly doing the solid they're doing like. The last pick up, they picked up quite a bit. They're doing nine, uh, 0 0.96, so yeah. They are milking well, and hopefully we can keep milking well, milk it to the end of May. But that depends if we get any more moisture. There's not a lot on the radar at the moment, so we're just going to have to wait and see. But yeah, once we get some rain, that'll be away. Be good. That's the other paddock just down there, uh, which we've done with Shogun. That one was done in the annual last year, um, and also the one that we just had a look at. So, all right, I'm going to go and. She's going to go and put the seed, seed drill in the shed, in the barn, for the time being, while we wait for the drawbar, and gonna put a few other things away, I'm going to put soft hands away, move dad's soft hands away, and I'm actually going to put the sprayer on, I'm going to go and spray some blackberry down on the boundary, which, uh, yeah, so, going to go and do that, and we shall catch you another day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you somewhere else on the farm. Bye.